In this lesson, we are going to draw this cute giraffe. Let's go! Today we're going to be learning how to draw a giraffe from a photograph. Now when we start, you don't have to follow along just yet. I want to break this down and show the shapes that make it up. When we start with a giraffe, which he, I love this guy, I love his eyes, um, we're going to start with kind of the shape in the head right in there. Then I'm going to find that nose, the bottom of the nose. You see how it's slightly larger? It's almost like a circle right there. And then it kind of goes into the head, just like that. Next, I'm going to find kind of the outer side of the head. You see how it goes and touches the nose there? And finally, that big neck kind of goes off the page right in here. Then we have those antlers, I think they're called, and ears. I might start with ears because they look a slightly bigger. They're all these big ovals right in here. This ear right in here. And then these antlers, I kind of like to find the shapes up here first so I know what I'm working with. And then you can kind of pull those in to the head. And then this is almost like a little U. Finally, we have those eyes. Now, I see kind of like the muscle of the eye on the side here, and the muscle of the eye there, but then I also see kind of the circles of the eyes. Finally, we have those nostrils and that hairline right in the back. So I think that's about it. You want to add the little smile in, you can do that too. Let's get started. Grab your pencil, your piece of paper, and eraser, and we'll start our drawing. Okay, so let's get started on our giraffe. Remember, that first shape was that oval that we saw in the middle, and that first shape is the most important shape, especially with this giraffe. He's got a lot going on. Uh, he's got a lot of shapes in there. So I wanna make sure this is about in the right place. We have room for the neck, the nose, the ears, and the antlers up here. So I think this is about a good shape. Remember, it's never gonna be exact but we try to get as close as we can. Then I'm gonna move on to that nose down here, about this amount of space. It's kind of a squarish oval, right in about there. And then remember it went into the face with these slight curves. And it goes up into about halfway into that oval. So I'm gonna kind of pull those down and out out and then we had the lines that kind of connect out here to the nose notice how it touches kind of where this line comes in it's at an angle and this one as well it's kind of at an angle and touches where that line comes in my initial oval might have been a little bit higher there then we are going to move on to the ears. It was the ears next. So the ears started about here, come up, they're kind of big, almost like leaves. And then over here. And then we have the side of the head that kind of comes out here and then goes in about there where the eye sockets are. And it comes, oh, it comes way up from here and down here. And then the neck, the neck comes out from about here, goes all the way down. The other side of the neck touches the bottom of that nose and comes down here. Uh, we're going to move on to the antlers. The antlers started with these circles up here and came down into the head like as a curve, down over here, and we have a fun little U in the middle. So now it looks like I'm missing the eye that's just in here, circle, and an eye in here that's a, it's an oval. It's kind of at an angle, right like that. Finally, we have those nostrils that are kind of these skinny, long ovals. 
that go through into the nose and over here as well. And finally, that little smile. I'm going to add that in. I kind of like it. So next I'm going to erase all of those lines so I can kind of see what we're dealing with. And oh, I forgot that fur on the back. But I will get that in now. So the fur kind of comes from here. It's just a little line, squiggly line that goes down. Next, I'm going to start erasing some of these lines that I don't need. I don't have this line in here, or in here, or here. I'm going to start getting rid of all of those unnecessary lines. They were just helping to guide me. I'm even going to soften this line slightly. So from here, I want to start getting some details in this eye. Like I kind of see the, the lid of the eye. It kind of comes out. They've got these beautiful eyelashes. You can darken those if you want to, the, the eyeballs, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Get the eyelashes in. Kind of find the lines that you want to follow. This needs to come in just a little bit here. Kind of comes in a little bit and then goes out. This, this eye, I want to find that eyelid, those pretty lashes. And I think I'm going to darken the pupil. Now, to show that this ear is kind of behind the eye, I am going to shade just a little bit right here. By shading, it sets things back versus lighter tones tend to come forward. I'm also going to get a better shape on this ear. I didn't do a great job with the shape there. There we go. Now, if you notice, my ear is a little far away from my eye. I'm going to kind of leave that. It's OK. I could pull it down a little bit if I wanted to. Next, I want to make sure I have like the muscle tone kind of in the face structure. Pull this down and make it one nice shape. I'm going to start shading in those nostrils. Pull this in. I want to get some of that hair on his chin. I think that's adorable. Get a few of these little dots here. Uh, you can start maybe drawing some of the spots. Have fun with that. You can shade them in or color them in. It's completely up to you. Just get a little more detail in the eye. Oh, I want a little fur up here too. Now take this as far as you want. Uh, it's your picture. Color in spots, get in some texture for the hair maybe. Have fun with it. I won't bore you in filling in all these spots, but you get the idea. And there you go. Drawing a giraffe from a photograph. Thank you so much for working with me today. It was a lot of fun.